Hello all. Um, today I am here with Mariha, Mariha Khan, and she uh, she is currently working as a project management project management trainer and consultant, and working yes. in uh, Pakistan Agile Scrum Exchange. And she's going to be here right. with us. yes, and she's going to be here with us for the next one hour. Uh, for her topic, for her topic, it is Agile mindset. Yes, no, not yet. Or not yet. Yeah, perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. So over to you, Madhya. You can continue. You can start right away. All right. Thank you. Good. Let me share my screen. All right. So first of all, I would like to say hello to everyone, to all the participants who have joined us. And I would also like uh, to say thanks to Eisenbridge team. And uh, I'm happy to be here uh, to be part of Discuss Agile, this virtual conference. So as you all know, my name is Madiha Khan Yusufzai, and uh, basically I'm a project management trainer and consultant. And here I would like to talk about the four P's of my life, which I have been living. So first of all, um, I have been, like, project management is my passion, and I'm fortunate to make it my profession as well. And right now at this stage of time, I feel it's time to pay back to society as well and to promote project management. Uh, so that we can uh, benefit others as well. Overall, I'm having 10 years of experience and I have worked with uh, different companies and in the different sectors as well. So today, the topic of my talk is agile mindset. Yes, no, or not yet. Before getting into the details, um, I would just say that uh, I will try my best to make the session interactive. I would be asking you some questions and we'll give you the time to think about it. Maybe because of uh, time limitation, we wouldn't be able to take all the responses, but Ishan is going to facilitate me in that. And we can take your questions in mid of the session and also at the end of the session. So you can also prepare for that. And uh, hopefully here, yeah, uh, we are going to learn out of it. So there are like uh, basically two reasons that why I have, uh, chosen this topic. So the number one is that many of the companies are going through uh, adopting agile. Some of them have uh, done the transformation and some of them are going through it already. And yes, there are some companies uh, and organizations who have already embraced agile mindset. They are living this agile culture and they have matured it well. So the other reason is that why I chose this topic, because I can, I can relate it with my own personal experience uh, where uh, basically uh, that I worked initially in waterfall uh, mindset, and then I went uh, through this transition. And why this transition was very smooth for me, because I believe that I have been living uh, with the agile mindset already. And yes, so the focus of my talk is that how agile mindset resonates with the growth mindset. So there I will give you a question which all of you can think. And uh, yes, so like how many of you people have heard of fixed mindset versus growth mindset? Because my talk is going to resonate with uh, like how agile mindset is a growth mindset and uh, why it is essential that we all should have agile mindset to embrace agility as an individual and as an organization. So moving towards uh, this uh, next slide, and uh, like I would like to talk about what are the learning objectives which you are going to uh, see and which we will come across throughout my presentation. We are going to see that what is agile mindset. We will see that why agile mindset is considered as growth mindset. And as the topic of my talk is agile mindset, yes, no, or not yet. So I'm going to talk about the power of yet as well. And I will, I will like in my next slide, I'm going to cover that what is my inspiration for choosing this whole talk. And then we will see what are the characteristics which make an agile, which make a mindset as agile mindset. And we are going to discuss what are the benefits uh, which one can have if they are having agile mindset. And we will also see that one can also establish their mindset into agile mindset. And later we are going to talk about that how we can foster the agile culture across an organization. So as I earlier spoke that my agile mindset talk resonates with growth mindset. So when we, when we are talking about mindset, 
Uh, so that means it is essential to talk about Professor Quirin Duarte. She is a psychology professor at Stanford University. And basically she is known for her research work in, in the concept of fixed mindset versus growth mindset. And uh, yes, uh, here I would like to mention that in agile world, uh, we believe in growth mindset. So now whenever I'm talking about agile mindset, that means I'm talking about growth mindset. And yes, Carol Dweck is also known for, uh, also known for, for her one of the talks uh, where she spoke about this power of yet, this concept. And uh, basically I would like to take you into that background that there is uh, one university in Chicago, which gives the grading to the student as uh, like where either you pass the exam or otherwise they give you the grade of not yet. So, which means that um, all right, yet you haven't mastered to the level where you can pass some certain exam. So that is the inspiration which Carol Dweck talked about and then she, later she worked in that. So uh, in the coming slides, I will be talking about that in detail. So now there are two statements which you can see on the screen right now. And here again, I would like to invite you all to think about it. So where one statement says, no, you cannot solve this mathematics questions. I'm just taking it like, you know, one very simple example because we can relate the agile mindset in our work. Uh, be we are a sports person, be like we are a businessman or we are studying somewhere. So we can relate it with all of that. So let's say maybe in life you would have come across this statement. Maybe you heard it, someone said it to you or, or maybe uh, you said it to someone that no, I cannot solve this. I, I cannot solve this problem. Or the, the other statement is, no, I cannot solve this problem as of yet. So let's see what are the mindsets which are working behind that. And uh, yeah, so like the statement one basically refers to a specific mindset where we all believe, uh, and basically the followers of this mindset believes that we are born with a certain skills and intelligence level, and we cannot change it. So that is one mindset. While the other mindset, which is being referred in the other statement, in my statement number two here, that uh, yes, yet uh, yet we are not at this level, but we can all we can always improve our skills, intelligence, and knowledge level uh, by putting some effort into that and by putting some hard work. So let's see what are the two mindsets if in case you can relate both of these two statements in your life as well. So all right, uh, the first statement was referring to the fixed mindset where the believer of the uh, of the of of this fixed mindset believes that uh, there are certain skills and we cannot improve them while the other mindset is agile mindset, which, uh, which is basically like, you know, making us move. So this is the power of yet overall that we believe we can improve, we can always work hard. It all takes a little more passion, a little more practice and a little more hard work. And then we can achieve the success to a certain level. So now let's see what are the basic traits of agile mindset. Because if you see in my example that if we are thinking that, all right, either we can do something or we just give up and we do not do it. So if we are into this mindset that where we are embracing all the changes and challenges, that makes us that we are having the agile mindset because we are up for the challenges. We do not see, uh, we are not discouraged that, all right, uh, you know, we cannot do it, or maybe we will be failed. And what if, uh, like, you know, what if we do not succeed out of practicing any activity in our life uh, where, we, where we are believing that, no, we cannot do it, or we lack these, uh, this specific talent. So if we are having a agile mindset, that will make us to embrace all the changes. We will be open to that. And why the change is essential because uh, everyone is uh, going through the transformation. And yes, this agile, agile culture was not there. We all had been working into the traditional mindset and traditional way of work, which is, which is also good. Like here, we are not saying that it, it, that is not a good way of working, but now the need of time and technology is uh, to go for agile way of working. 
So re always remember that change is the only constant. So we should make our mindset ready to embrace all the changes and and try to exper and try to experiment them and experience it. And only then we can find that all right, uh, what we are going through and how we can uh, we can see that was this change was good for us or not. So at least we are there that we are taking the risk and we are exper experiencing something new. And only then we can we can find out that uh, how good it is. So uh, like then uh, embracing changes and challenges are the same here. And uh, the agile mindset makes you ready that you should have the confidence to take risk. But whenever you are taking risk, so I will not say that take any risk at any cost of time and money and all the investment, but always take a risk uh, which is informed and calculated. And here I will I will basically relate it uh, with uh, overall agile values and culture and also with the scrum, but uh, my talk focuses overall about the agile way of working. So I will not go into the details of what is a scrum or what is XP and what are their values, but I'm going to sum, sum all of them up here. So whenever we are going to take the informed risk, uh, as you like, you all must be familiar with the time boxing, uh, this concept in a scrum and why we do all the activities time box so that we can save time and we can save money and we can also save the effort of our resources. So that's why having an agile mindset will make you to take informed risk. And uh, yes, when we are having this agile mindset, it makes us ready that uh, the failures or the mistakes are not going to discourage us. We are going to see them as lessons learned and lesson learns are part of our retrospective as well that we always see that what, what went well and what didn't uh, go so good and later how we can improve it. So these all are the traits which if you all have been following in your life, so you can see that you are having this agile mindset. And in agile mindset, we when, whenever there is some mistake is made, so we see as uh, this learning opportunity uh, for the growth and uh, we, we can always see that how we can improve our current abilities. And the best thing uh, which I would like to you know, talk about that uh, you can develop the mindset at any time. So if, if you think that right now you are having the fixed mindset and you are not having the agile mindset. So the best thing about having agile mindset is that it can also be developed at any point of time in life. So not only that we can uh, like cultivate our intelligence level to a certain extent and also the skills, but the whole uh, this growth mindset can be established. And that is the plus point of having the agile mindset. So as uh, we just talked about that, what are the traits which could make a mindset as agile mindset? So now let's see what are the benefits of having agile mindset and why it is essential to have. So as, as I talked about that, uh, having agile mindset makes you to embrace changes and challenges. So that means it also makes you uh, creative because when you are trying different things, so you will, uh, you will explore your creativity level that where do you stand and how creative you are. And it's all about like we all get creative uh, when we get the opportunities. So to find out that what are the right opportunities, what we can relate it, it's all about that we should experiment and we should welcome all, all the opportunities which come in our way and in our work so that we can see that all right, how creative we are. And once you are creative, so you will see uh, there are so many good things happening. It will make you innovative as well. And uh, because maybe you are going to find and discover something new and let's suppose it is, it is any product or service which no one would have ever thought about and then just some idea clicks to you and you start working on it, uh, being creative and you are up to go for a new challenge. So you will see that maybe uh, it, it is working and it is positive. So that will make you innovative as well. And here, when we are going to talk about uh, that, there are always the lessons learned in our agile culture that we learn from our mistakes. And if something doesn't go well, so we, uh, we basically try to improve it through our retrospective. So 
agile mindset benefit is that it makes us resilient that every time if something something doesn't go well we will take a uh, we will take a learning out of it and we will see that how we can improve so it will make us resilient that every time there is a failure we will always bounce back because we are not being discouraged by any failure or anything which uh, which didn't go well but we will see that how we can improve so our focus is always uh, to go for a uh, better side and to see the better views of all the activities which we have been doing so once you are creative and innovative and also resilient so that will lead you to make a persistent person and a persistent uh, professional as well uh because uh, every time you are going through some changes so you will cope up with them nicely maybe there will be the challenges there will be the tough times but you will stay stick to it and you will go through that uh phase and once we can see uh, uh like you know we have become persistent and we are innovative as well and uh, creative so you can see all of these benefits are leading towards to improve your performance performance because you are being given the chances and opportunities to go and experiment new things and to take the informed uh, risks overall so eventually you will feel good and confident that yes your management is trusting you they are giving you the opportunity and they are not going to judge you or evaluate you based on your uh, based on your experiences which didn't work well but they are saying but they are seeing this uh, fact that yes you are trying and you are trying all the new things so it will eventually uh, this confidence will uh, you know bring the good performance and it will become better and also it will become superior later on uh, with like you know each day of uh, each day of time day by day and once we are performing very well so of course we will feel satisfied and our employer will be happy our peers will be happy and um, the most important our customers will be happier because we are delivering the value to them and when one when everything is so good so eventually i believe we will be uh, very happy mentally satisfied and it will uh, it will have a very good impact on our health so the well being matters for all of us and yes this is the ultimate benefit which you will achieve after having the agile mindset okay so now when we have seen that what are the traits which could make a mindset as a agile mindset and also that what are the benefits and i believe they are the like you know very appealing benefits which now uh, like you know making you to think that how we can introduce the agility across the organization because if it is like one person is having a agile mindset so how we can see this uh, synergy if every employee every affiliate is having the same agile mindset our clients are having it our vendors are having agile mindset so we can see that overall what will be the great impact on the organization it will be having and also the ecosystem which we all are creating for each other uh by having a agile mindset so we can we 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 can see that what are the uh, benefits and the good results we can achieve out of having a agile mindset so there are certain ways through which you can not only introduce uh, the agile culture in your organization but also to live it well so first of all when we when we uh, start talking about that how the organization should have the agile mindset so it's all about that it should be across all the levels not only that some specific teams are supposed to do it but it's uh, it's like you know from the top management to everyone in that organization should uh, basically believe in agile mindset and should live the agile way so it's all about that you you walk the agile talk it's just not only that all right uh, we 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 are just discussing what is agile way and how we can do it or we are just practicing it in some of the projects so as it is being said that do not do agile but be agile so that is what matters the most and uh, yes once uh, like everyone is aligned and we all are thinking in agile way so what we should do that uh, the management should also challenge the status quo for the other other colleagues and peers and uh, 
we should al always encourage the people for their efforts, even if they are failing in their efforts. So what does our focus should be that, yes, they are trying and they are trying to improve. So that's why we say that focus on the progress, but not on the perfection. So it's all about, yes, we are progressing towards the agile way. And if, if like, you know, anything bad happens during that transformation, so let it, uh, like, you know, let it happen and learn out of it, but still, uh, still keep moving on towards, uh, towards fostering the agile culture. So as it has been said that every small, every small effort will count, every small accomplishment will matter. So build new habits when you are going through the transformation in your organization. And uh, yes, it's, it's all about that taking all the little steps so that uh, you, you can ensure that, all right, you are on the right way. And yes, please remember one thing that when we are talking about changing the culture or introducing a new culture in our organization. So remember the changes cannot, the culture changes cannot be made overnight, but we can mold them over a certain period of time. So yes, maybe it is going to be a journey which, uh, which will take time, but as it is being said that slow and steady always wins. So keep moving forward towards uh, living, the, living the agility across your organization. And for that, what we need, we all need the passion, uh, passion that, all right, we would like to change. We would like to go for agility and practice it. And a little more training and the hard work should always be there. Because once, once you are uh, putting the training and uh, the efforts into that, so you will uh, you will eventually uh, experience the agile culture. And as, as it is being, uh, being said, that our focus should be, uh, it's not only that, yes, we are good, so let it be, and we should stay in the same stage of mind and the same state of work. But why not we can improve day by day and to become better? Because it is being said that we all are uh, basically uh, you know, we even humans are the example of transformation day by day. If, if, if you see that, uh, all right, five years back, oh, what we were, what were our skill set, or 10 years back, uh, how we used to do the work. So we can see every day we are transforming ourselves. So the same way we can transform our organization. If we are, if we are passionate about that, all right, we should be an improved version of ourselves. So if we can be an improved version of our own self so that our organization can be also an improved entity day by day. So for that, if, if, if you want to live agile culture, what you should do that you should like connect and uh, coach uh, with, with the right people, with the right mindset, and also to empower each other. Because empowering is one of the very good agility concept. Where, where we believe in the teamwork and where it is uh, where we uh, like live this value of being a servant leader. So there it is all about the teamwork and uh, empowering each other and creating the synergy to achieve the goals. So always, uh, yes, once you are connected and empowering each other, you should also coach and we can always see like, you know, one can be, one person can be a coach who is uh, like, you know, good with all of this agile mindset. And uh, we can help other people who are struggling that we can coach them and we can help and we can share our experiences with them that, all right, this is the time you are facing this challenge. You can talk about it and we are going to facilitate you and we are going to help you. So when we are, uh, the, the other way is that we can foster the continuous learning um, because it is all... All right, sorry, I just got my some message. Well, sorry for this interruption. So yes, I was talking about this foster, the continuous learning, because uh, uh, being in agile, it is all about that we are learning day by day. And if here I would like to refer the concept of empirism, uh, which is uh, one of the main uh, concepts uh, in Scrum as well. And overall, I'll again relate it to the agile way of working. That why this empirism concept is there that, all right, we learn out of your experiences. We learn out of uh, the lessons learned and then we try to improve uh, day by day. 
So that's why the continuous learning should be fostered and cherished, and we should encourage uh, everyone to keep doing it so that uh, we, we can learn and we can see that how we can improve. And once uh, we are on this agile journey where we are learning, so we should also build a feedback loop. Again, like, you know, as we, as we talk about the retrospective and other, uh, you know, this terminologies here. So it's all about that why feedback loop is important so that we can see that, all right, what is our performance? Where do we stand right now? Where do we want to go? What do we want to achieve? And once uh, it is there, and if there is anything during our way, which is not happening the right way, or, or the way we plan to do it, so we can uh, get the help through that feedback loop that all right, what we should uh, continue to do and what we should stop to do so that we can achieve our goals. So building the feedback loop will help you in that. And accordingly, we all can learn and adjust throughout our agile journey because the feedback will help us to make the changes and to be flexible because again, Agility is, uh, and being agile is the concept of that, how, how fast you can respond to the changes. So it's all about that. We can, we can basically act as per the feedback we are getting during our way. And the, and the one thing that, uh, which we have started that as I had been talking about the agile transformation and uh, that every company or every individual is going through that, so what they can do that whenever some change is happening in your life at your workplace, so always stay committed to the change. Once you are into it, then go through it. And then you can experience that, all right, uh, uh, all right, that is what we could do. So it's all about like you can only find what you can do or what you can improve by only experiencing that situation. So stay committed to change despite of all the challenges which you are going to face during the transformation period. But again, being agile means that, all right, embrace those changes and challenges and face them. So all right, uh, now here, what I'm going to talk about that, uh, as we, as we have talk, talked about that, all right, how this agile mindset can be nourished and nurtured. So if you see that uh, if agile mindset is being uh, is being uh, developed uh, throughout the journey, so we can see and and right now yes agile mindset developing the agile mindset is one thing, but living the agile culture is another, and practicing agile in our work uh, that is another thing as well. So it's all about if there is any organization who is going through the agile adoption or either they have already adopted adopted the agile way of working so what they can what they can do that once this agile mindset is uh, basically established across each individual within the organization so eventually every person every team and the whole organization is going to experience the amazing results because when it is going to make you creative innovative and resilient so it will make you more confident you will be able to take risk while they are still the calculated and informed risk. So then it will, it will improve your performance. It will give you the confidence and uh, the good performing employees always uh, value that the customer should be happy and we transfer all those good value to the customer through our work. So when we are, when we are winning the customers, that means we are having a very uh, good uh, working culture as well. So yes, it, uh, and this journey is not that easy, but yes, it is doable and you can go through that because you can develop the whole agile mindset itself, which is the best thing I earlier talked about. So when you are going uh, through nurturing and developing the agile mindset, so start by taking little steps and remember every accomplishment will matter into your journey. So here, I would like to put this quote, which is taken by my favorite professor's book, Professor Nathan Fur at INSEAD University, that uh, once you nail it and then you scale it, only then you can experience the agility that uh, by like, you know, making it deeper day by day and living it very well. So yes, uh, right now, this is all from my side.
And uh, yeah, I would like to say thanks to all of you. And if there are any questions, so we can take that, please. Thank you, Maria. Thank you so much for this uh, uh, talk given by you. Yes, we do have some questions already posted Thank for you. you. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sorry because I was sharing my screen, so I couldn't see the questions. That's why. Uh, no worries at all. We have a yeah. dedicated session right now. We have yeah, a lot hopefully. of time available for the question answers. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so um, the very first question, let's go ahead directly. Uh, it is from Abhay, Abhay Tewari. Yes. So how to perform, uh, how to transform ourselves from fixed mindset to agile mindset as fixed mm -hmm. mindset is coming from long time? All right. Okay. So if, if you want to uh, go for moving from traditional mindset or the fixed mindset towards the agile mindset. So as I talked about these traits here, I would like to... Yeah. So what you can do that you can start taking, uh, you know, the little steps basically. And it's all about that. You can see, uh, because I give this example that where I was talking about, no, I cannot solve this problem. Or you start seeing uh, the new perspective that, no, I cannot, I cannot solve this problem as of yet. It all depends what are the challenges you are facing and uh, you should always be confident and uh, up, up for a change that, uh, all right, let me experience it first, that how I can change from a, from a fixed mindset towards a growth mindset. So it's all about that uh, once, once, you are, uh, once you are being confident and you are not afraid of the failures because that is what matters the most. Sometimes we are being discouraged because of the negative feedback we get for our work or maybe for any activity which we are doing. So always go for, always see the criticism as the opportunity where you can learn. But yes, uh, there are two types of criticism, criticism where one feedback is only uh, the one, which is like, you know, uh, the negative feedback, that's all. And you cannot see anything out of it. So just uh, like uh, you, you, or otherwise what you can see that, all right, this is the feedback someone has given you for your work or any of the activity you, you are doing. And uh, then you can see that, all right, how I can change it. Because you should see that what is the value of that feedback? Because we say that feedback is a gift which one person gives to another person. So it's all right, always welcome the negative feedback if it ever happens to you. Just do not feel discouraged and, and do not see that who, who is the person who is giving this feedback, but always see that, all right, uh, what, what good I can make out of that feedback. And eventually you can, you can uh, like, you know, uh, by living all of these traits uh, day by day in your personal work as well and in your professional work, you can experience that you are on the on the journey towards building agile mindset. And as you said that, all right, uh, you know, if we are having the fixed mindset for a certain time or for a long time, even then it is not a challenge. So because again, again, as we said that we are going to embrace the, embrace the change and the challenge. So it's all right if we had been living the fixed mindset for all, all of the years of our life. But yes, uh, by, by trying the little things, we can, we can you know, uh, move towards a giant mindset. Well, uh, thank you so much, Madiha. I think that, sounds, that we'll be answering Abhay's question. Uh, but then on another platform, we have a question from Narendra. Moving yes. forward to the question specific to Abhay, basically. Uh, not to Abhay. Continuing the question of Abhay, the question is, how do you introduce this agile mindset with C-level executives in huge organizations. <laughs> All right. So like, you know, when it comes to introducing a concept, uh, that is this one situation that where we can see that, all right, uh, you know, is, is this person is having a giant mindset or not. But if, if you see that the CEOs or, or, or any C-level or, uh, you know, management, they should always up for uh, going, uh, going to experiment new things because that is what they do. They always need to see that uh, how they can expand the business and how they can uh, make their, their employees happy and how they can win more customers. So when it comes to that, it's all about that. Uh, it's not about that we are going to just come up and to say uh, any C-level person, 
that you are having a fixed mindset and uh, you should you should turn into agile mindset no it doesn't happen that way but it's all about that by practicing we all can move towards agile mindset and yes in in that what you can do as i said earlier that uh, we should when we want that we should uh, introduce the agility across the organization so what we can do that we can empower and encourage the people and we should walk the agile talk so if i am in a team where my c level management is not ha- is, is let's suppose having the fixed mindset so what i can do that all right i will be the one who is uh, ready to take the lead and who is ready to make this change and what all i would be needing from my management is to support me to let me take the risk and to see that what are the benefits we are going to have so even if if you are having this situation that where you see that all right your management is having a different mindset and you are having a different mindset so always uh, come with the evidence uh, that all right why we should have the agile mindset and there you, you there uh, you can see that all right what are the benefits later on you are going to experience so maybe by like you know working uh into that direction you can make your management convinced as well through your work and through your success that it is good to have a child mindset and we all should have it okay uh thank you thank you madiha now actually we will be moving into the q and a section where we have all the questions already ready for you we have eight eight questions already i think i can see yes and they are they, they keep flowing in okay let me take the first question from ronak okay uh, so ronak is asking you know can you specify any best pra- practice or basically any way mm-hmm. that help in transforming fixed mindset to agile mindset in any organization uh, but then i think he's asking like any training is there any coaching is there or any other way how you can change your mindset all right all right okay so the part of this question i already answered uh, that as as we talked about that all right if you know it should be a c level who is having a different mindset or how we can go for uh, developing or establishing the growth mindset so what you can do yes uh, there are certain trainings and courses are available for living the mindset and the mindfulness uh, as well and uh, yeah the mind inspiration is through uh, the professor uh, dr carol dwack and it's her book mindset so which you can find easily and uh, when you are going to uh, read that book so it 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 says that all right uh, you know having this growth mindset it's not about only at work but we can we can practice it in our personal life we can have it in our in our personal relations as well it is good for parenting as well so i will say, i will recommend all of you to read this book which is titled as mindset by carol dwack so that is one book and then uh, there are there are certain companies who are offering uh, the training courses on mindset some of them you can find on linda.com and uh, there is one institute the neuroscience leadership academy which is working with specific organizations but they have a very good blog and i will share those links later uh, with ishan so that uh, like all of you can get it access and what i will do that you can also uh, follow my linkedin profile and i will post it here and i will also write this article after like you know this uh, today session so that you can relate it and i'll i'll give the reference of discuss agile there and then you can go through that book as well the link and also for uh, neuroscience leadership academy uh, blogs as well okay uh yeah. well continuing to your answers again uh, ronak mm-hmm. was asking one question how did you sure. as per your experience uh, what what worked best in your experience to inculcate agile mindset all right only your experience <laughs> okay uh, i i would definitely like you know love to answer that so as when we talk about agile mindset so it's all about uh, there is one thing which i have been practicing and and yes uh, you know it's not only about uh, that what training courses we can do i'll suggest all of you that you all make a list that all right there are certain things which i should do and there are certain things which i should do less so you can make two list and one is what i should do more and what i should do less 
So if you think that at times you are having a fixed mindset and let's suppose what we can see that, let me take one example that all right, uh, how I should embrace the challenge. So do more is that I should, I should be more confident. That's a do more. And the do less is uh, to feel afraid of it. So whenever you are, you are having the one challenge, so be up for it and uh, be more open towards it rather avoiding it. So do less avoiding and do more of uh, basically being open to that challenge. So now how I can relate it with my own experience that uh, the, the best thing which like, you know, I have been living, it's all about that. Uh, you sh we should think that, all right, how we can create synergy because that is what I personally believe in. And uh, that's why I have been like, you know, running the agile community so that I can facilitate people and to enable and empower them. And uh, yes, to see them growing as well. So so these are the certain things which I have been uh, living in my life. And, and for me, uh, if, if I want to see that, all right, can I do something or I cannot do this thing or that thing? So what I do, I, I always go and experience it. And uh, like my mindset makes it, uh, you know, easier that all right, maybe, you know, if everyone, we have so many good examples around the world that there are uh, certain people who have done something out of, uh, let's suppose, least resources, or if, if, even some people have done, uh, done the things where they were not having any opportunities, but they made their ways. And because it's all about you should stay focused. So that is the one thing uh, which I'm having in my in, in my life and where I, I keep striving for it. So that that is my experience learning that stay focused what you want to do. And again, as it says, like, you know, commit to change. So that is what I have been living that. All right. Sometimes the journey is very difficult. But if you have decided you want to do something and you should do it because it's 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 a good thing to have, then keep doing it. So be it even slow and steady. At times, I even go slow in my life, but I stay consistent to to experience a change. Okay. Uh, thank you. I think uh, this will answer the question of Taxen Ingol as well. Uh, mm -hmm. This question was, if an organization is not following an agile mindset, and mm -hmm. I, as the only person wants to start the change, the mindset mm -hmm. of the organization, what shall be the first step? Right. Do you want so to add first step, Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So the first step is, if, if you want to change this uh, scenario, then change it. That's the, that's the, like, you know, key here. That take the lead to do that and be your own example and become my example and inspiration to others. That's all right. Uh, this is what I have been doing because I wanted uh, to show it to you people that yes, we all should have we should have agile mindset. Only then we can live the agile culture. So that's why you know even on this current screen you can see that I said walk the agile talk. So if you want to do it and there is no one around who is uh, who is thinking in the same way, then you can see as as one of the like you know bigger and positive opportunities for you to make, uh, to uh, basically inspire others by doing it. Okay. Uh, I yes. think Taskin, uh, his question is resolved over here. Uh, moving to the next question from Rahul Sharma. Mm -hmm. He's asking how important is unlearning in compared to learning while on the journey of agile mindset? All right. Yes. Uh, yeah. It, 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 it is being said that uh, like you should always be ready to unlearn, learn and relearn. So if there is some challenge where you see that, all right, this is something very fixed in my in my mind. So that's why I earlier suggested that make a list uh, where you see that there are the things we, which you should do more and there are the things we, which you should do less. So when when you are uh, and I, I gave the example in case Rahul you heard it earlier that uh, if 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 I was talking about uh, this uh, one example that uh, like you know there is some challenge which either I can see that either I should accept that challenge or I should avoid that challenge because I do not know uh, will I be able to succeed uh, after accepting that challenge or will I be failed so 
if 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 you want uh, that where you uh, where you think that all right uh, what you can do more is that embrace the challenges do more of that be more confident and do less side is that uh, all right i will not be afraid to taking the challenges so eventually when when you are having this list that okay this is my fixed mindset and there are the things which doesn't go uh, uh, which doesn't go well by having uh, you know on on the way of having agile mindset to start doing less and yes so that means you are going to de learn uh, uh, all of those fixed mindset traits and eventually you will be learning the agile mindset okay i assume rahul your question was answered by maria perfectly i felt it was perfectly answered and and so like moving on to the next question from ujwal to which i can see rahul has already answered but then i'm posing this question to uh, mariha once uh, this sure. question is with market trends changing and new technologies coming in like cloud yeah. blockchain devops microservices would there be changes in how agile is being practiced and followed all right uh, so uh, precisely to answer it when we are talking about agile mindset so you know like the concept of agile is being able to quickly respond to the changes so if all of these changes are coming so yes you can you can relate having this agile mindset with all of uh, these latest technologies be it in blockchain be it into cloud or be it into data analytics so like uh, the having the agile mindset is is uh, overall you can see as the umbrella where you can cover all the, all the changes within blockchain within big data so please do not see it because i believe that your question is making it that like having agile mindset is different than uh, going through the blockchain uh, because when we are talking about agile way of working that is that is one concept and if we are if your question because i feel that your question refers to this uh, like you know implementing agile and doing agile in uh, in software development or in any any projects or in any like you know work domain so that's why we say that when it comes to the agile concept so it's not about doing the doing the agile but it's all about being the agile so uh, like when when all of these new technologies are coming having the agile mindset will make you to uh, to basically enjoy all of those changes and foster the changes uh, along your journey okay well, well this was perfectly answered uh, i think ujwal again he was he would be clear now with his question yeah ujwal already okay. thank you you're welcome and uh, yes we have a question from akshay jain mm -hmm. uh, people say agile is just a philosophy what do you think uh well no agile is not just a philosophy i will beg to differ about that because if we see that uh, we we can see agile is is like you know a mindset and and something which we can live on and we can experience it and again i what i will refer because since i could i could resonate with them with my experience so i feel that why my journey was very uh, easy and smooth because i had been living the agile mindset already though even, even that time the term was not there uh but uh it was it it was there in self that we can uh inculcate it into our values because when it comes to uh having a team team work we where we are encouraging others as well so yes this is one of the traits uh and this is just one of the examples that yes agile is going to be there always okay um well uh must busting the myths agile is not just a philosophy right yes so uh moving on to the next question by prakash and probably this is the last question i can see and mm -hmm. i know you have pretty much answered this question again and again over and over again uh but i would see yeah, how that's right <laughs> <laughs> so this question is he specifically asking you know can you share two specific mm -hmm. techniques that can be used to help someone change from a fixed to agile mindset all right okay so the fixed uh, like basically the two techniques so the one technique which i already uh, already told and yes uh, you know shana so right that that is what i have spoken about two times right now so i can talk about it third time 
that make a list that uh, because i have i have spoken about that what are the traits of having agile mindset and what are the benefits so let me uh, come up on this screen where we are talking about the traits of agile mindset so like this this is just a very specific list and it's it's a very precise list and and we can make it a longer list as well but what you can do that take this list and where you see that what technique you can do like the one thing was that you can make a list of of the things to do in your life in your work and what you should do more and what you should do less and i put my example across these uh, basically you know the traits that how you can embrace the change and challenge are you taking the risk or not and how do you see the failures and mistakes so that is yes one technique which you can do that by making the list and the other is uh, that uh, like uh, you you can you can not only uh, implement agile mindset in your professional life but also in personal life you can see even in your relations that how you are uh, how you are basically handling and dealing with your relations so so that is the technique it is not only only a specific or scientific technique which i can say that you should follow but i also mentioned that what books you can read and there is one book uh, titled as mindset and it is written by professor carol dwack so you can also read that and then you can see that what is the technique because the best thing about having a agile mindset and living the agile culture we always say that there is no uh, hard and fast rule or any any like you know specific framework which which we all follow and uh, when whenever it comes to any specific uh, you know uh, the frameworks it it always give you a bigger picture and then it allows you to do and to do the best practices so that's the best thing about having a agile mindset and living the agile culture that it is not making us bound by any any specific methodology that only you should do this and then you can achieve agility but it gives you the uh, it could it gives you the core values and the frameworks and then you can start practicing it and then you can see what works well best for you okay okay uh perfect and i think we can we still have pretty much time um one mm -hmm. last question probably madiha sure please sure uh, question from venkatesh uh, can you comment on what feel good factor in mm -hmm. agile in your experience um, all right i would be needing your pardon that what is the good factor of having agile good. what is the feel good factor the feel good factor Yeah. Okay, so the feel feel good factor is that uh, when I see like you know my ten years journey, so there are so many things which I think I never thought of or let's suppose you know if, even dream of that all right I would be doing this, but but when I knew that okay there is a certain goal in my life which I want to achieve no matter what will be the journey how like you know what will be the ups and downs. so uh, now when when i see that all right my career is you know coming along as i planned though like you know over overall maybe the the journey was somehow it, it i i felt like okay it is deviated but the sense of accomplishment after after going through all the challenges uh, so that is what uh, you know what is, that is always the best moment that okay you know there is some achievement there is something i tried and earlier i i i earlier i felt that maybe i cannot do it but on the only way to figure it out was that okay i should give it a try and only then i will see that yes i was capable enough to do it or not so that that's the best uh, feeling okay um we are still pouring with questions madhya uh that's interesting <laughs> so, yeah uh, Let's, we have time as well to we do it. have time yes we do have yeah. time and the question from ujwal deep can mm -hmm. agile mindset be tailored to suit a project or organization would it truly work and be successful oh yes that is uh, so doable and uh, like uh, you know I'm, i'm glad that the current slide shows the same that the agile mindset believes in believes not only in cultivation of intelligence level the skills level but also believe in uh, in developing this whole mindset itself 
So that is what you can do that. All right. If there is any project or like you want to tailor it according to your organization. So that is what you can do. But it's all about like, you know, when you are having this mindset. So so you can see what is working well for you. But still, it, it should be in an agile manner. So that is important. So it's not that, OK, we are going to tailor the mindset, our mindset with the work we are doing. But we should see that how we can tailor the work with our mindset. So it, 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 it will go hand in hand that what is going to work well. But it, sh but it shouldn't be like, uh, you know, that, OK, there is something which you are doing uh, with, the, with the fixed uh, mindset. And then you see that, all right, you can, you know, make a hybrid model of having agile mindset. So to have an agile mindset will make the things easier and simpler. Okay, I'm sorry for that, yeah. Uh, with mm -hmm. still again, uh, one more question from Aditya. Do you want yes. to show, uh, share some tricks on those who mm -hmm. have been working with conventional way of project management, basically PMP, since last right. two decades? All right. So, so like, okay, let me rephrase your question that you want me to talk about the tricks, which we can, uh, we can implement with the people who are working in PMP for last two decades. So it is what would be the tricks for those people who mm -hmm. are working in the PMP environment or the project management, traditional project management environment for last two decades and how would they implement the agile mindset? All right. Okay, so yes, uh, you know, there, 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 there wouldn't be any like special uh, tricks we can say, but when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, having the traditional mindset and the people are working in the traditional way. So uh, it's all about that. All right, we are introducing the change and we are basically challenging their status quo that, okay, you should go for a change. So what we can do that, uh, the, how you can do it that always have a talk with those people that what do they think? And you should also see that uh, how open they are to go for a change. So it's, it's all about like, you know, again, it's not about that. We will just say, okay, uh, hi, you are having fixed mindset and we want you to become agile mindset. No, we do not do it that way. But what we'll do that we will be giving them uh, the changes and challenges that uh, and we will see that what is their response out of it. So if they are up for it, and uh, then we can see that, all right, they are taking their steps toward the child mindset. And even maybe they wouldn't be knowing it, that, all right, we are moving towards the child mindset. But yes, that's the way they are doing it. So what you can do that, all right, go and have a talk with them. And, uh, and yes, then you can see that, all right, what is their perspective? We shouldn't ask their perspective for the agile mindset, but we should, we should ask their perspective about how do they see the change and what makes them comfortable uh, to be in, in the current uh, role or current status. Or we should always talk about the fears so that we can tell them that, all right, how they can overcome their fears or what, like, you know, something they're afraid of. And so if it is there and we can, uh, like, you know, make make them comfortable because agility and all the uh, all the agile culture and values is all about the teamwork and it's all about the comfort and trust on each other. So we should we should we should give them that comfortable environment that if you are up for a change, then we are we are here to encourage you and empower you. Because if, if they are having the fixed mindset and they are working for, for 20 years in the fixed mindset, so they will definitely be like, you know, close towards uh, having the change or to take a risk. But if we are giving them the confidence that, yes, we are here to support you and to facilitate you. So uh, then uh, they can they can feel confident that all right we should we should experience we should experience a change. So that's the way you can do it. Um, thank you so much, Maria, for answering all the questions by our attendees. Um, mm -hmm. We're running short of time now. We're almost about at the end of this session. And to all the attendees who are online right now, I would like to tell one thing about Madiha. She was one of the esteemed speakers in um, regional scrum Regional. gathering in Nepal, which yes. is, uh, I think on 8th and 9th of December, yes. right? We would like to congratulate you for that same. Thank you and, so much. Thank you. And we are Eisenbridge. We are hosting the next 
regional scrum gathering in Hyderabad, India on 29th and 30th of March 2019. And Madhya is once again, she is our reviewer. And we hope to see you in our, uh, in our gathering on 29th and 30th of March, Madhya. Yeah, sure. I will, I will do my best to make up for that, uh, you know, attending the gathering as well. That could be really great, and it could be really great for all the attendees who are here with us right now. Uh, this would be a great opportunity for you all to attend this session and have a great learning session from all the speakers we would be having. And the registrations will be opening soon from uh, 31st to midnight, 31st of December, midnight. Okay, uh, so thank you so much, Madhya, for being with us here today, uh, giving us this wonderful talk and clearing, you know, speaking with all our attendees. And I hope to have multiple sessions with you in the future as well. Yeah, sure. Thank you, everyone. And especially thanks to Eisenbridge. And thank you to all the participants to uh, ask the wonderful questions and to seeking the knowledge. And if, if, if there is anything more you would like to connect uh, with me for, so here is my LinkedIn and uh, also my email ID is given. That is my Bihafan Yusuf Zahi at the way yahoo.com. And I welcome you all for all the questions and being connected at LinkedIn as well. Thank you. You're welcome, Maria. Have a great day. Bye-bye.